Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you a really simple way to get a cool gradient fade in and out of one clip to the other that kind of works from dark to light. So before we begin this tutorial, I just want to say that if you're not following me on Instagram, then definitely go check me out, live streams, DMs, reach out to me, wherever you want. But my Instagram's at Justin Odisho, so I'm looking forward to connecting with more of you guys on there. And of course, make sure you subscribe here on YouTube so you don't miss any new videos. So getting into this tutorial, you can see I've got three example clips laid out on the timeline. So we're going to fade out of this clip and into this clip, and then out of this clip and into this clip. So in order to do this, we want to position these clips on tracks on top and under each other. So I'm going to take the clip that I'm fading into, and I'm going to put it under the clip that I'm fading out of. So now we have a little bit of overlap. Next, I'm going to open up the effects panel on the right hand side and I'm going to go into the video effects folder and under the transition folder, you should find one called gradient wipe. So I'll take this and I'll drag and apply it onto that top clip. So now when I highlight that top clip of the woman looking out here, you could see in the effects control panel, I have this new gradient wipe transition to work with. So there's a few simple parameters we can adjust here to create the transition. You see here transition completion is how complete the transition is. So right now it's at 0%, which means it's not doing anything yet. But if you see, if I click and drag this forward, you'll start to see 50% looks like that and 100% looks like that. And what it's doing is it's wiping away from the gradient of black to white or pretty much shadows to highlights. So from 0 to 100, it pretty much erases the image in a cool way where it erases the shadows first. But there's a few adjustments we can do to this to make it look cool. For example, we could take the transition softness and bring that up a bit and that'll feather it out a lot more so you don't get those weird harsh edges. Also, you can choose to invert the gradient, so choose which way it transitions. So in, in this case, if I invert it, the light parts are going to get erased first and the shadows are going to remain and that's going to create a cool visual effect between these two clips where it looks like the ocean is coming in from the window and it's replacing it like that. But we do need to set our keyframes to have this transition happen. So if I go to the very start of where I want this transition to begin, it's where the other clip begins overlapping, I'll click the stopwatch icon and create a keyframe here at 0%. That means it hasn't started yet. And then I'll go all the way to the end as, as long or as quick as you want this to last and I'll make it go to 100%. That means the transition's fully complete. But you can see when I play that back, we've got a cool smooth transition where the highlights in the sky fade away, eventually revealing the whole image of the ocean. It's a very simple way, very similar to the Luma fade, but quite an easy way to do it. It's just a built-in effect, add some keyframes. Now, if you want to fade into another clip, it's the same idea. Take the clip, put it overlapping the other clip, and then add the gradient wipe effect onto it, except this time we're going to be fading into it so we're going to start the transition at 100% with keyframes and then we're going to move over to when we want the transition to be finished and revealed. We're going to set it to 0% and then you can play around with things like the softness or the inversion of the gradient to decide which parts you want to reveal first, the highlights or the shadows. So in this case, that's what this will look fading into the other image. Kind of cool as well. Now there is one parameter I haven't mentioned yet, it's the gradient layer. This says what track do you want us to pull the gradient from? So if I were to take it to track video track one, which is where the original image is, then it kind of just makes the original clip fade in and out. And you can experiment with that. It's just telling it which track do you want us to consider. Gradient placement would be for a time where your two videos were not of the same size. So you either needed to stretch it to fit or tile it or something like that. And that might be for if you're creating some more experimental type of effects. But pretty much those are the basics you need to know in the gradient wipe tool. Just put it in there, add some keyframes from 100 to 0 to fade out, 0 to 100 to fade in, and experiment with the softness and gradient track to find out what will look cool for you. So if you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for all of my new future videos. And check out the Premiere Pro playlist on my channel for a lot of similar tutorials, transitions, and effects. Also, make sure you guys are following me on social media, at Justin Odisho on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, if you want to reach out to me. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.